Hello and welcome back to MFAC Coaching. Today I am going to show you my February silk and sonder and what that ended up looking like towards the end of the month and show you the March silk and sonder and how I set that up. So if that interests you, hopefully you will stick around. So I did do a video that was January to February, and I will link to that here. Um, but this is February. So Silk and Sonder, is, for those who don't know, is a subscription where every month you are sent a new planner. And each month there is a specific uh, theme. So the theme for February was Adoration. And every month there are, um, it starts with a little letter from the company owner. Uh, this term, it was a little definition of adoration. I really enjoyed the theme adoration because it really led me to think about the terms adore and adoration, um, and how it feels to be adored versus to adore something else. So it was very fun. Then there's a monthly view. And then so there's March dates, April dates. So it gives you the next couple of months. There's reflections from the previous month. And then your intentions for this next month. There's a mood tracker. So you can see uh, today is the 26th. So um, you can see I've done most of the days for tracking, but you'll see they say vacay. I was on vacation and I did not track those days. So you can see the vacation. I was in Bend, Oregon. Uh, did pretty well with most things this month. Uh, this is a tracker. I think it's supposed to be a sleep tracker. I change it every month to an exercise tracker. There's a gratitude log. There's an adoration letter that they suggest you actually like pull out and write to somebody else. So that's why it's, you don't see that I filled it out because I didn't want to rip it out with some, my gratitude on the other side. Um, so I just wrote a letter and gave it to someone as suggested. And then some prompts about adoration, some exercises. There's always a coloring page that I'm trying to get back to doing but didn't do this month. This is a little acrostic poem that I didn't do. There's always a recipe. I really still wanna do this one. Little affirmations, I really enjoyed some of those. They had a maze, which I really enjoyed completing. And like if it, yeah, I just had fun coloring it. Anytime it like bumped up against itself, I changed colors. This monthly expense tracker, I still haven't figured out what to do with that because I, I track my expenses uh, digitally. And then here was the first week with my Mickey and Minnie theme. So you can see how I decorated that and that to see specifically how I decorated that that's in the video I posted earlier or I mentioned earlier. Then this was the next week where I talked about getting happy mail and how that makes me feel. Look at that cute little doggy pushing that package around. How cute. Didn't do the currently this month. This was Valentine's Day week. Let's see how I decorate all of that. And then this is the week that was based on my dog, Lacey, where I uh, printed most of the stickers on the wrong side of the sticker paper. <laughs> um but this is what I use as my catch-all. So I actually do a lot of like specific planning in a couple other planners. And then I use this one to every day, let myself know what I'm gonna be doing that day. I also write out my schedule, which I also keep uh, on the phone, which is how you are, that's what's recording this video right now. <laughs> and then I have a notes section. 
every day. So that, this is what it looks like when it's blank. They did give you the final full week of February, but I am going to actually move into my March. So let's look at the March. Here is March. Wonder is the theme. I am in love. I love wonder, curiosity, anything like that. I'll just do a quick little flip through his definition of wander. It says, it's a feeling of surprise mingled with admiration caused by something beautiful, unexpected, unfamiliar, or inexplicable. So there's the full month layout with some holidays on there. St. Patrick's Day, International Women's Day, Daylight Savings. Um, I'll be ready when that goes away. International Day of Happiness, gotta love that, which I think is also the first day of spring officially. World Poetry Day, so that's kind of fun. It's always fun to see what holidays calendars include. And then April and May, February Reflections, March Intentions, the Mood Tracker. Oh, I love it when the Mood Tracker is in this shape. Uh, figure out what I want to do. Last time I did like a four leaf clover out of it, but we'll see if I want to do that again or just do four leaf clovers each day. Mm, we'll see. Uh, my habits, sleep tracker, which I will make in exercise tracker, a gratitude jar. Oh, I love the gratitude jars. I will be filling this up with stickers throughout the month. Uh, the Wheel of Life. This is really fun because they give it to you almost quarterly so you can compare it to the last times. Uh, so I will do that at the end of this month. So when I go from March to April, I will show you some of my previous Wheel of Life's. Uh, the Wonder Journal. So you can talk about times when you have experienced wonder, what wonder means to you. Another wonder exercise. Beautiful coloring page with this um, butterfly in the middle. Maybe I'll get to color this one this month. We'll see. Some of my favorites, which is this one they've done before too. So maybe I'll go back and look and see what else I said, what they asked about favorites last time. Then there's an arugula salad with lemon zest, parmesan, and balsamic dressing. So yes, I will definitely be making that. Ooh, that looks really good. There's a gumball tracker where you get to track six things. It says list below some things that you wonder about. And each time you um, take time to enjoy a wonder, one of these six things, go ahead and put your little ball in and um, this is as good a time as any to show you. Every month there are additional stickers that you can purchase through Silk and Sonder. These are matte so you can um, easily write on them without it smearing. They, If you got them the first few months they had these out, they were not matte, they were super shiny and you had to have the right pens or it smeared everywhere. Um, but one of the nice things is, is that there is a sheet of the little dots. Uh, so it's super fun to be able to put the little dots in these areas. Now you will see here in a minute how I use these um, as uh, page tabs. So you'll see the tabs that I did for February when I did not purchase the kit. It, the, addition, the stickers are $10. Uh, and so... Some months I get them and some months I don't really, like they show you what the color scheme is and this color scheme I was like, and sold. <laughs> uh, so for sure, um, you'll see how I use those. And then it looks like we get into, oh, there's the circle Sudoku. So you're gonna be able to figure out um, each of the numbers one through eight. Then, oh, they always have a little um, riddle. So let's look at the riddle from, and this is new to 2022, but I am a nine letter word in rhyme with perfection. I am yet another name for love. What am I? And if you haven't guessed, 
let me, I, I don't want to be a spoiler, but the spoiler comes in the March one, uh, but I'm getting best thing you can guess. So, um, if you don't want spoilers, go ahead and like click the, I'll give you three seconds to click ahead for 10 seconds. All right. The word is of course, affection, perfection, affection. How cute. Uh, the riddle for this month is I speak without a month and hear without ears. Excuse me, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with wind. What am I? Put your guess below. Let's let's have some fun with that one. And then the expense tracker, of course. And then we get into the, the weeks. So this is what it looks like. Blank. But as you can see, I never leave it that way. Almost done, pretty boring, but I'd like to show you that you do in fact get the whole thing. Uh, this time you get it through the 3rd of April. And then you can always see on the last page where I decide what pens and highlighters I will do. I always try and match the cover. So I am using Sharpie S Notes this month. I have found the Sharpie S notes work very well. There's minimal bleed through or ghosting on the other side. You can see that's all the ghosting there is. And uh, the other ones that are really good are of course the mild liners, the zebra mild liners. And then this month I'm using Paper Mate Flare Ultra Fine Pens. And they all go together like this. Here are some other sparkle pens I wanted to try from Erin Condren, but I was really enjoying this color combination better. All right. So you'll always find in the back of all the books where I try things out. <laughs> and I always try to match the covers as best as I can uh, with the pens. So last month I used mild liners and Erin Condren fine tip pens uh, and those were great they did not I'm always testing them to see uh, how much bleed through there is um, and there really wasn't much bleed through with the Erin Condren fine liners all right so Go ahead and show you what I always do. First thing I will do is put my name here and then off camera I will be putting my phone number. This does travel with me so I always want to make sure that uh, if it does get lost I can get it back. All right so off camera, I will review the month, see what if there's like big trips or anything I need to put on here. And mainly I use it for birthdays, to be really honest with you. Same thing with April and May. What are birthdays? What are big trips coming up? What are things that I need to remember? I'll do my February reflections and my March intentions off camera. But let's go ahead. Oh, now I've got to decide. Okay, I'm not ready to decide. So I'm going to start with the habit tracker. All right, so pulling out my pens here, figure out what order I want to put them in. Let's do something like that. Okay, so this month I, I always track my weight. and whether or not I work out. And it's not whether or not I work out, it's whether or not I follow the workout plan, which sometimes does have rest days. So I still get credit if I'm following the plan. If I rest on days that I'm not supposed to be resting, then I don't get the credit. <laughs> um, all right, compost bin, I gotta continue to 
put that on here or it doesn't happen very often. Um, you can see that was the one that got missed the most last month. So I've got to work on that. It'll be better now that it's not as cold outside. All right, let's do, I always also track my gratitude. And if I do it, and with the gratitude goes budgeting. So track my finances every day. I also floss, trying to make sure I floss every day. All right, so what the one that came off, was on here this month was my water intake, which is great, um, but it's a very generic um, habit, and I just don't find it terribly difficult to remember to refill my water jug, so I'm going to stop doing that one. And I had one that I was thinking about doing, but of course, because I've started this video, I don't remember it. All right, so what we're gonna do is um, my like evening skincare routine. No, well, evening is fine. We're gonna do an evening cuticle care. That's what it was. So my cuticles are currently super dry um, and just in a, just ouchy. So I'm gonna try and put. So give them some love every day in March and see if I can't uh, help them to stop um, wanting to get me, give me hangnails. All right, but the mood tracker, most months I use the feelings wheel uh, created by the Gottman Institute uh, for my mood tracking. And that, that has the kind of internal categories of the wheel are joyful, powerful, peaceful, sad, mad, and scared. And then there are two layers outside of the circle that are were, feel all feeling words, that, but that are associated with one of these six feelings. And I have used that for over a year now, almost, almost two actually, I think. Is that right? Yeah. And, um, I think though that I'm gonna switch it up just a little. Silk and Sonder actually provides an annual wellness journal. This is, I wanna say $35. I just got it. I haven't done anything with it yet, to be honest with you. Maybe I'll do a flip through of it. If you are interested in a flip through of it, let me know in the comments below and I can do that. But this feelings wheel has some slightly different feelings. Love, joy, surprise, sadness, anger, fear. And that just seemed like a really fun way and it's got a lot of, lot more words. So I really wanna start using this one, at least for the month to see if I like it. So, I always do them in the same order. So we'll do Love, joy, surprise, Sadness, oops, anger, and fear. All right, and then the there are highlighters that match all of these colors. And this is where that last page comes in play. All right, so I want this as the lighter one. Then I will have to figure out a little while later how I want to decorate 
the wheel itself. So we'll see. It's very, I should get, grab the old, my old one and just show you the difference. So let's see. All right. So that's how I did last year's. And I might do it again. It was just so cute. And it's not too, it's just, you know, this was a little higher up there. So you can see just like different, slightly different placement. Uh, but that was the tracker for a year ago in March. And just, you can see the little clover leaves. So cute. And then let's make, go ahead and make my sleep tracker. An exercise tracker. So this is the colorful boxes. I tried to, I don't know if you've seen this, but the Happy Planner came out with a, one of their big sticker books with all colorful boxes. And it sold out in like a day. So I did not get it because I didn't get it right away. And I'm cranky about that fact. <laughs> I'll be fine. Um, oh, yeah, but you know, I want it. All right, I had to grab my white out as it seems that is just slightly too long for the sticker. All right, there we go. I put this down here in the center. There we go. It's not straight, of course, because I can't lay down a sticker straight. Um, I don't know why. It's just, it doesn't seem to be my, there we go. Oh, not my, it's just never my luck. All right. Exercise. And then I'm going to stick with the same um, exercise plan. It's been going pretty well for me. So you'll, I'll show you what I do. Um, <laughs> look at me. All right. So what I do is I'll say what I'm doing, um, run yoga or CrossFit. I'm pretty uh, lazy and just call it CrossFit. So CrossFit happens on Mondays. Um, I run Tuesdays and Saturdays. I do yoga all the rest of the days. That's the plan. And when I do yoga, I look at uh, yoga, excuse me, yoga with Adrian, and I pull out some videos. She has a monthly calendar that she produces, and I just try to follow it um, as best as I can, looking usually for the like 30 minute, uh, 15 to 30 minute yoga, uh, depending on if it's for me what would be a rest day, um, or if I'm really work, trying to work out that day. And then I try to meditate on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you can see I did that one time <laughs> this month. <laughs> And then I just follow fives are, it was felt great. Fours was it was hard, but still good. Three was it was fine, I got through it. Two, it was awful. And one, I didn't do it at all. Uh, and so you can see I didn't do it for a couple days when I was on vacation and uh, that is okay. So I'll fill that out off camera. Love the gratitude jars. Love, love, love. The Wheel of Life, what I like to do. So it says, for each of these areas in your life, the rank them between 1 and 10 based on how fulfill fulfilled you feel. Write down one way you can increase your level of fulfillment for any or all of these sections. All right. So I need, I'm going to go ahead and use these five colors. All right, education, I'm a professor now, so I always look at that category in terms of teaching. Um, and I'm just gonna say, um, actually I have decided to create a planner based on my teaching, so use planner. And then for spiritual, I'm just going to say, I should say use planner because that would be kind of funny because I do have a gratitude journal, but I'll just write gratitude. 
journal. All right. Financial. Um, let's say, well, I think I'll just say, um, again, keep tracking. I'll just write that way. And my relationships, hmm. I don't know how I can increase the, my fulfillment with relationships. All right, we're gonna think about that. I'm gonna put this pen over here to remind myself I haven't done that one. All right, health. Uh, I'm gonna say, um, I'm just gonna put vegetables because I want to make sure I am focusing on veggies. And then with romance, uh, I'm gonna say date nights. It's just me and my husband, so it's easy for us to skip those. And um, we've been married for going on 14 years. It'll be 14 years in uh, July, so. All right, career, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say YouTube numbers, increase. Home environment, hmm, that one's rough. What do I want to do? I've done a lot of organizing things lately. I actually might just say sticker album because I need one. Last but not least, and not really last because I still have to figure out this relationship once because uh, I have this green pen over here to remind me. All right, family. Um, I'm just gonna say laughter can laugh with my family that would be great and then adventure uh, I'm gonna say Alaska prep all right um, in late June early July I am going to Alaska and Canada uh, on a cruise so I'm super excited but we got to get flights and make some other plans so I'm gonna start or really continue my preparations for that. All right, relationships. I'm just gonna say uh, increase texts. It's one of my probably most primary love languages. And then what what I always do is um, education, use planner. So how am I currently feeling about education? I'm pretty much maxed on education because I'm teaching a lot of classes. Things are going pretty well with my YouTube channel. And, um, I just got a new teaching gig for the summer. So it's going to be very hard for me to top that. But I always split these in half like this. And indicate that way. All right, financial. I have done a very good job of tracking for the last couple, well, for last month, for February and most of January, maybe all of January. Yeah, for January and February. Um, but there's still a lot of saving that I could be doing. So, but I'm still feeling pretty good about things. So I'm going to put that around here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. All right. And then, so you can see I do this for each one. I'll do it for just a couple more vegetables. I have not been doing that very well. I'm gonna give myself four on veggies and hope that that increases a lot. All right, career. Um, I really have been working on 
some key things with my YouTube channel and my coaching, um, things with this channel, for instance, and my Patreon. I've got a good plan. So I'm going to put it about halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm okay with six. And then family, um, we have some good family time coming up. It's already planned. I've got some good time with my parents. Um, there's really very little about family that is not going well right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just give that a nine. And we'll go from there. All right. So you can see that's what I do. And I will I will do it for the other five and then at the end of the month so when i do this video to to go into april um you'll i will rate it again and see how well i feel i have done just in 30 days of working on these things now just remember that habits and feelings like this um, really can't be measured in 30 day increments <laughs> um, but it is very fun to compare and to look at what I measured um, in this on these same categories uh, in the past. And I will do that again in that next the video at the end of the month. All right, and then the rest of this, these exercises, I will do throughout the month. Um, ooh, my Wonder Gumball Tracker. Let's see. What are things that I might feel wonder about? All right, so use this. I'm going to say nature. Let's see, my dog, Lacey. I'm going to say um, probably students um, or coworkers. Very large part of my life. What else might I feel wonder about? Large categories. Let's see. I'll just put feelings. They're a good thing to kind of uh, wonder about, so to speak. I'll just say answer to questions. Because I do like to find answers to questions. This one, the colors are not going to match, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm going to put actually put podcasts, which I know sounds weird, but my podcasts teach me so many things. Um, and I also have a podcast. It's called Apartment 29A. You can find it wherever podcasts are found. And, um, yeah, so they teach me a lot, and I'm always wondering things and learning things from them, so I'm going to put that there. All right, the next thing I want to do, because I don't think, I think, yeah, that's just a game. I'll do that. I still don't have anything that I track with the monthly expense trackers. We'll figure it out. Maybe savings? I don't know. Uh, but the next thing I want to do is add my tabs. So this is always my first tab. So there are the tabs. It's not a perfect system, but it's very helpful. It just helps me be able to get to the exercise page and the trackers and then my weeks real quick. So for uh, this first week of March, my theme is just blue and green. Uh, just kind of keeping in tune with what they have provided. There's lots of blues, lots of greens, a little bit of purple. But I was also going to just focus on the Hustle and Heart 
Happy Planner. This was part of their, I think, winter release. Um, and these are just gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous sticker book um, with all greens and blues. And I just really love it. Um, so keeping with this, I also have some washies in green and blue. If you saw my video last time, you've seen how I did this. Not much has changed. Um, so you'll get a little in musical interlude here while I white out these categories as I do not use them as they are planned. Uh, then I'll show you and tell you how I do use them. And I'm just going to do this first week. Um, and then you can, you'll see at the end of the month what I actually decorate on the rest of the weeks. So what you're gonna see now is I'm going to throw down, throw down, I'm going to put down some washi tape here, 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 and here. And I'm just gonna do blue, green, blue, green and establish that theme. So here we go. <sighs> okay, I'm having the hardest time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, wait, maybe? There it is. Woo! Did not think I was gonna find that. All right, back at it. All right, so that is page one done. So now we're gonna look for some boxes. All right, one of these bright green ones, little splatters. I really enjoy. I'm gonna put these on top of the blue ones found I mean, the blue ones that are the same reflect in a strange way this almost like purple color so I don't want to use that so I think I'm going to at least in one place if I can get this off which is sometimes easier said than done all right Put this here. That is fun. I put a smaller box on top of it. Also, these Erin Condren ones. I'm liking these. Let's see. There. Only two of these same ones, but that's okay. We just need a little something there. And let's see, there's got this kind of gold background, but I don't think I like it. Let's just put it there. Okay. So then my categories are, <laughs> Feel like a game show contestant. Um, all right, meals, feels. I don't actually feel like a contestant, I feel like the host. <laughs> um, books, and then evening. And this category, I'm just going to go ahead and Paul remember. And then what I write in these categories, some of them are going to be obvious. Meals, I write down what proteins and veggies and stuff we have in the house so I can make meal, what I have to make meals out of. 
feels. That's the one word that I'm going to want to feel for the week is my goal. Books is the list of the books that I'm reading. I'm sometimes reading up to eight books at a time. Remember, these are like some categories of things that I'm trying to remember. So usually the different areas in which I'm trying to be creative or Instagram, those types of things. And then what I'm doing each evening, largely. So like Monday, I have choir. So it ends up being choir if I'm doing something, that, an activity. Um, and then Saturday and Sunday is just if there's any major thing I'm actually doing that day. I do keep a shopping list here if I have it, and I do, if I remember, write down what I was loving each week. Haven't done that very consistently, though. All right, so now I want to decorate these next two pages with the same washi. So let's see how that works. done with that part I'm finding it super fun and so the last thing I do is I actually just take a few stickers and put them on top so I have some alphabet stickers if there's any like like it's kind of fun to do words like you know fun for instance um, and then like small ones from in here so let's see there's lots of, um, there's these fun circles, but uh, there we go. These words are really uh, good ones. So just that very first one says, you're doing great. Plans are dreams in the making. I'm really liking that. Uh, work, work, work. That's going to be great. So pull out some of those. And let's see. Okay. Let's go ahead and place those first. Plans are dreams in the making. And work, work, work. Very cute. And then you're doing great. Place them right there like that. That is super fun. Weekends are more fun for me. So I'm going to go ahead and use the, my idea of, we'll do Sunday fun day. If you, and Have a little bounce in in the grass there that is super fun so to speak all right let's see what else do I have just going through to celebrate that's kind of fun See if there is anything. Maybe I'll put a celebrate right underneath Tuesday. Um, just because that is, I uh, believe, Fat Tuesday. So right, the, right before the start of Lent this year. For those who celebrate that well like this you, you got this important get it done maybe I'll do a you got this uh, let's go ahead and put it on Saturday kind of at an angle so then the weekend is done 
And because this part is just for fun, there's really no like pressure. Take a break, day off, go for a walk. Oh, let's, let's tell myself to go for a walk. That's a good idea. I'm gonna center this one right in the center. Go for a walk. They've got these little stars that are like very geometric. I'll put it here. Could do a moon on the other side. I like that. Now it's a night hike. <laughs> All right. Then we really just need something for over here. Let's see. But I do like this love. All right, yeah, so we can put a little love here. And then maybe we can even go ahead with that darker blue. Keep life simple. There we go. All right. And that is one week done, except you will notice that I haven't done the very last part, which I will do the most of it off camera, um, but you'll see that I do this and I'll show you how I do it. So I choose three colors. Um, obviously these are going to need to be the greens and blues, um, and I'm going to do... Let's see, that's why I have this. I like the lighter and the two greens, so we're gonna do that. And you can see already why I have the tabs. So I'm gonna do the blue at the top, and I'll show you with one how I do it, and then I'll go back and do the rest. So do that. I leave myself six spaces. One, So I will go across this way. Then I do this, of course. And then this becomes my to-do list. And I will also do this. And if I'm feeling really into it, I will do this, but most of the time I do not do that because it's already a lot, as you can see. And then I do this. Then I actually count to 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And this is the schedule. And then, and this one I don't have to do much or any counting for. Notes. And then the weekend, so I'll do that all the way across. The weekend looks like this. And there's only five there and that is okay. I try not to schedule that many to-do list items for the weekend. And 
And this is the schedule. Oh, almost forgot how to spell the word schedule there. <laughs> and then last but not least, that'll be the to-do section or the notes section, excuse me. And I'll do the same thing for Sunday. And after that, I will be all set up for the week. And each day I will, so on Monday morning, I will create my to-do list. I will actually write out the whole schedule on Monday and then uh, notes I just use as I need throughout the week. Uh, but then each morning I look at it um, and I create my to-do list. I have found that if I tell myself I'm going to do more than six things, it's never going to happen. Um, even if those six things are seem all super short and easy, uh, with the way my life is, then that is the max. And you'll find a lot of times I don't get them done. And so when they don't get done that day, let's see if I can show you. When something doesn't get done, it gets circled. Uh, and then uh, that means I didn't get it done on Tuesday and I need to get it done the next day. Um, or later and it doesn't get the little check mark until it's been completed but that's my own little system there all right that is it for this video thank you for sticking around if you have any questions about silk and sonder let me know and uh, let me know if you use silk and sonder or uh, if you have any questions about how to plan all right I look forward to hearing from you and have a great day bye